Welcome back, everybody, uh, to the latest instalment of the Confex Q&A. Um, this is our chance for our visitors to find out a little bit more about what's in store at Confex this year. I'm Jack. I'm the event director of International Confex. Um, we're now in the run up to the show after Christmas and uh, lots of exciting things to be announced and shared with you visitors. But for today's session, I've got one of our long standing exhibitors at the show um, and I'm joined by Reese from Lick Me I'm Delicious. So welcome, Reese. Good Hi, to have you on today. Yeah, great. Yeah, all good, uh, thank you. Are you are long standing, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Been, been, been at the show for, for many, many years. So some people will be aware of who you guys are and what you guys do, but a lot of people won't, especially new people to the show. So why don't we start with you telling me a little bit about yourself and Let Me I'm Delicious. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm Reese Saunders, uh, the Managing Director of Let Me I'm Delicious. I've been uh, with the business for about eight years now. Um, it was started though by uh, my colleague Charlie. He, uh, he, he, he grew up on an ice cream farm actually and uh, decided he wanted to start his own business making ice cream, kind of any mm -hmm. flavour of ice cream that you like. Um, I think his dream was to, to, <laughs> to have it powered by his own cows kind of thing. Um, <laughs> right, okay. It has been actually. Um, yeah. and from there it's grown and evolved. Um, so from an ice cream company, we, we make ice cream with liquid nitrogen, so it's fresh and on the spot and there's a, there's the show around it as well. But from there, the, the, the business has evolved to, to somewhere that essentially makes, um, it, it's a good comparison actually to Willy Wonka, kind of Willy Wonka <laughs> inventions uh, mm -hmm. and experiences for events. So a whole range of things, uh, as I'm sure you've tried them all, but we've got things like yeah. little bubbles, Edible balloons, um, edible mist, liquid nitrogen ice cream, chocolate. We've got a candy floss wizard that shoots candy floss out at 60 miles an hour. Uh, we've got a new machine which creates your head in chocolate. It's our 3D chocolate selfie station. So loads of things. Imagine Willy Wonka in the real life. And, um, and that's sort of us in a nutshell, really. Excellent. Sounds exciting. So what kind of events do you cater for? What's a, a typical event that you can do? Um, Kind, kind of everything, I suppose. Yeah. The, the way we look at it is we look at it in three different sort of strands or channels. We do events, we do exhibitions, and we also do uh, activations. So events can range anything from networking events, product launches, um, ge your general corporate events, maybe two or three hours, um, and parties, I suppose. And then you've got exhibitions, which I'm sure everybody uh, will know is our two or three day trade shows where we're trying to create stand engagement, uh, bring value to our clients by, um, you know, drawing people to the stands, which a lot of our inventions work really well in that regard. And then activations, we work for a lot of brands. Uh, we can do lots of customization, so create flavors, colors. Um, so we work with brands when they're looking to do longer term activations in shopping centers and in um, but uh, bouncing around the country, maybe launching yeah. some new product or a new flavor. Um, we've got some good customization that we can do for them as well. So three clear strands, I think. Excellent. So obviously, I know you guys well. I've partnered with you guys for years and had you exhibiting at my shows and, and putting on some spectacular things at some of my awards as well, which has always been great. It's always quite unique. Um, it's always quite out there, uh, the things you bring to the table. So what, what drives that inspiration? Um, I think you. I think you, you. You got it there. It's uniqueness. Um, we always want to try and uh, remain unique, but it, it's an, an innovation. I suppose the business is is built off innovation, and there's several different ways that we could um, continue to build and grow the business. Innovation is is the one uh, linchpin that we always go back to. How can we innovate? How can we create something new for our clients? How can we yeah. keep, uh, keep people coming back wanting? more because the experience they had the last time was great and we we're trying to build something um new and innovative them for them so <laughs> yeah innovation i suppose drives everything um can we create something new unique amazing and um and, and deliver that to our clients with some kind of panache and uh with wow to answer the question right, awesome. yeah. Great answer. Very good answer. So speaking of the wacky and the wonderful, um, we always uh, throw in a couple of questions that are a bit outside the box on the Q&A. So what's right. the craziest thing you've ever witnessed at an event you've been at? What's it? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, we, we all see crazy stuff. Like, 
everybody wants to do something different, wants to do something new. Um, and I yeah. suppose we're in that sphere um, as well. Yeah. So, oh, what's... <laughs> well, we did, we did do an event, uh, this was last year, and uh, I don't know if you're a fan, but there was a special guest act there. This is just in a, in a country, it was in a house, but it was in, in the country, I think in Surrey. And, mm -hmm. you know, you just imagine it's somebody's, it was a private event. And uh, it turns out that they, were, they had an act performing, uh, doing a 10 minute set. And it was, I, I hope you like her. It was Britney Spears. <laughs> really? Britney wow. Spears was doing a 10 minute set at an event. Yeah. Um, I think things like that, th those are the things that yeah. you, you just go, wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. I was a fan. Were you a fan? Uh, I was not a fan personally, but I've got three older sisters. So um, there was a lot of Britney Spears um, being played around the house when I was growing up. So I'm very familiar. Yeah. It was one of those moments that you kind of look and go, yeah, this is, you, 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 I mean, event events gives you that kind of opportunity as well. Working Absolutely. In, uh, in this industry and that you're able to, to ha have those opportunities and see, see people like that just to go, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so another another out there question I'm going to throw at you. Um, what's the biggest mistake that you've made um, in events or at an event and how did you learn from it? Oh, biggest mistake. Ah, biggest mistake. Um, I think you, you draw a good point. Uh, the second point is mm -hmm. um, we, we do everything that happens, whether it's um, good or bad, we always yeah. draw from it and yeah. um, build a, a, and make it better next time or have we not let it happen next time i can't think of any major major mistakes we've had we've you're had just a... perfect Reese. you're just perfect no, no, no absolutely <laughs> not that's not to say we're infallible but i think every mistake is we don't necessarily dwell on them so yeah. i think we've had some staff turn up um a day early for an event or we did turn up a week early for an event as well um, really? <laughs> really, really late, right? Um, but it's always about we don't necessarily dwell on them, so maybe that's why I can't recall something. It's um, how did it happen? How can we make it not happen again? Um, and, and build from there. We've got a culture here, a really amazing culture within the, the company that there's no blame. Um, we always build. I, I don't know if you've heard of the concept above the line, below the line, but yeah. we're very much above the line, um, and we always try and maintain that within our culture. So building back from anything that happens is more important to us than actually dwelling on the mistake um, and, so fi and fixing it, resolving it, building up. Yeah, good answer. Very good answer. It sounds like a great company to work for, definitely. No, great. It's, it's, it's such a good culture to be a part of, I think, because um, when people don't feel like they can make mistakes, um, it, it, it normally leads to more happening because there, there's just a panic around it. And rather than building on it and learning from it, it can go the other way. So I so know that's really good. Um, couple more questions to go so uh, after such obviously a turbulent couple of years and people not being able to attend events in person and that now obviously changing and events are coming back in full force how important is it uh, for a company like you to be creating unforgettable experiences for people to to make sure that they are um leaving their homes and getting to events in person hmm. i i don't um I don't think that changes for us personally, because um, that that's kind of ingrained in our uh, in what we do. That that is what we do. We we try and create um, experiences and uh, and wow moments for our clients. I suppose mm -hmm. so it's um, I, I'd say it's almost not down to us to, um, to 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 drive that. It's for us to support our clients to do that. Um, mm -hmm. So it's because because we don't arrange the events the, the um, getting people to turn up is not our job but getting people yeah. when they are there to actually have an amazing time and go oh my gosh that i had a chocolate selfie at that event and i will remember mm -hmm. that um yeah so, so the, the way we try and think about things is in terms of like having emotional experiences if you had something that triggered an emotion um mm -hmm. then that was our, you know you recall that and you remember it and therefore our clients will will hopefully say my gosh loads of people remembered our event because the, this was there. They had edible bubbles, um, mm -hmm. cho chocolate, uh, uh, cookie-flavored bubbles. Um, yeah. So for us, it's stimulating to just keep those experiences. Um, wow, for everybody else. It's the timer. <laughs> timer gone. 
<laughs> I'll keep going despite the timer. Um, so, a couple more questions. Right. You'll be tipping at Confex. It's coming up very soon. Can you give us a little teaser um, around what's in store on the Let Me I'm Delicious stand? You guys will be right at the entrance of the show when people walk in. So I'm sure they're going to be wowed right away. But is there any sort of hints or, or teasers you can give us of what's what's going to be there? Yeah, that's not a surprise, is it? That I think we've become the, the people that uh, everyone knows that when they walk in, they'll see us and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and hopefully get <clears throat> something delicious. Uh, we are, it, it's a, a lot more of the same if you've been there before and seen us before. And um, it's essentially our one big opportunity in the year for everybody to see us um, and see all our, all our, all our adventures in one place. Um, there's not many opportunities we get to do that. So it's a great chance for people to see everything or the a lot mm -hmm. of things that we do. Um, so yes, you'll be able to um, taste some zero calorie edible mist. Yes, you'll be able to eat some edible bubbles. Uh, possibly alcoholic, who knows? Yes, you'll be able to, um, um, what else? You'll be able to have some chocolate logo pops. Uh, I don't know if you saw them last year. They had my face on. Mm -hmm. It was yes. a bit weird. Uh, we might yeah. have <laughs> <laughs> um, so We are going to have our newest invention on the stand, which is our chocolate selfie station, uh, which we partnered with our friends at Candy Mechanics uh, to, to enable that. So we're going to have chocolate selfies on the go. And, and, and who else? Who, who knows what else? Um, yeah. Basically, it's going to take, you're going to, you're going to be 15 or 20 minutes. Um, you need to set aside <laughs> 15 or 20 minutes to have a walk around yeah. and sample everything. Um, and hopefully a nice opportunity for um, current clients and new clients to, to chat to, to Michelle and Kareen, who are in the, in the, in the bookings team, uh, to see what, uh, how we can help them with their events this year. Excellent. Um, we're going to wrap up there. Thank you for talking to me. Where can people find out more about Lit Me On Delicious and all the exciting stuff you've got going on? Yeah, our website is uh, www.lickmeimdelicious.com. Uh, we're on Instagram at Lick Delicious. We're on LinkedIn and the usual places. Lick Me, I'm Delicious. Um, as long as you've not got a content filter on. <laughs> okay, great. Right, we'll see you at Confix, Reese. Chat to you soon. Yeah, speak to you soon. Bye.